everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Bonnie Krebs and this is Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And today I'm going to show you how to stamp this little uh, wooden gate. This is one of our newest sets. I just love this gate and um, you can do it lots of different ways. So in this set you get uh, this really cute wooden gate and these two uh, bleeding hearts each going the opposite direction. But in, in addition we still need a few other things. So uh, from our foliage and flower set we're going to need to use these items. So the vine and the large grass from the, um, the foliage set and the small, the tiny grass. And then from the flower set we're going to need the filler flowers, the little daisies. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to stamp this in the uh, blue because we want this gate to stay white. There's other options that you can do as well, but uh, for this video we're just going to keep this gate white. So I'm going to ink the back using the 86 African Violet because the gate is going to stay white. Remember when things are white they're never uncolored. They always have a color to them. So I'm going to stamp it on my watercolor paper. just like so and then dip my brush in water and begin to pull the color out of the lines. I usually always start with the darkest color so you can see where these double lines are. This is where the color is concentrated the most. So we just put this on here like this and then I'm going to start pulling the color out from the side. This is what gives us that three-dimensional look. All the projects start this way. You don't have to be real careful about this. Just use the tip of your brush. This under here where this board is, this is a pretty good shadow. So we're going to make a pretty wide stroke across here. See how that pops that board up? You can see how that's starting to really look three-dimensional. We can do a little stroke across the top, but really the shadow is underneath. You don't have to get all of these little lines. It's just kind of up to you. Okay, now I'm going to drag some of this color out to the outside because this gate is, it's freestanding, but um, we can see the sky in the background behind it. So we really want to get uh, some of this background color in here. So we're just going to drag some of this color out to the back. Just take your brush and just pull it out. There's no really right or wrong way to do this. The more you play with these stamps the better you're going to get and the more confident you'll get, especially to try new things. Okay, we're about finished with that part. So we're going to add the uh, foliage now. And you can see there's a little break in here in the top of this. That's so that you can bring some of the vines down through the, through the center. So I'm going to ink this little vine here and start adding the foliage. And remember we want to do things in a sequence of five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's ink it again. One, two, three, four, five. Let's bring some of this down inside now. One, two, three, four, five. A little more across the top. This is just all up to you how much foliage you want to add. We can put a little bit in here. And see, sometimes I'm just inking the, t the end. I don't need the whole vine. So I can just ink in a few little pieces. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to dip my brush and add water. And I just blend all of this together. I drag this blue out of here and blend it in with the green. This is coming across the top of this gate so we can pull all this color together. This will add a lot of dimension to your little painting. And you're just dabbing. Remember, no brush lines, no circular motion. We're just dabbing. And this vine is in so many different projects. By the time that you do a few things, you will be an expert at this vine. Just 
keep adding the water and just keep blending and see how that's all just kind of coming together. And when you first stamp it, it always looks like it's such a mess. Mine always does anyway. But remember, it's more important that you stamp it over and over than that you get it in exactly the right place because you can always drag this color, always drag it to the center or drag it back over. And it just seems to work. As soon as you add the water and start blending, it just kind of all comes together. I just think it's magic. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now let's add our flowers. So we're going to use this little filler. And I'm going to use the purple. And I'm just going to do a few blooms. So I don't need this whole entire thing because these little, these little flowers are not huge. So I don't know if you can see that, but I've just inked about three of these. But I'm still going to go in a circular motion. One, two, three, four, five. It's just going to give me a little smaller bloom. And you just put this wherever. Anywhere that you have an open spot. Up in the top. Drag this over. This little gate is so fun. Okay, that's it. Let's dip our brush now and just soften these lines. This is another one that you will just use over and over again. You're going to get to be a master at this little daisy because it's in so many projects, but it works so well. And remember, we just want the idea of things, so we don't want harsh lines. We just want the idea of these blooms in the background. Keep blending this all together. You can see how this is coming together now. And see, I just keep blending all the colors together. These flowers, if they were hanging over the top of the gate, you're going to see a little shadow under here. Don't be afraid to put that in. Under here, under here. Don't be afraid to add more color in here. This just comes with doing it, and you'll get just get, you'll just get bolder and bolder. Okay, so let's put our little uh, bleeding hearts in. We're just gonna stamp this right in the center a couple of times. And I really don't need all of this line here, so I'm just gonna ink this part here. I'm gonna do the little bleeding hearts in blue. And then we'll ink the stem green. And we're just gonna stamp it once and twice. and then add water. The water just changes the shape so much and just brings this color out. So cute. And I've got a little line that I stamped over the top of my gate. I'll just blend that out, no problem. Okay, so now down at the bottom, under here, we're gonna add some grass. And I'm using the long stem grass. Remember, this is in a sequence of five as well. One, two, three, four, five. We never want to just stamp, stamp, stamp. We want to walk the grass. Just keep walking it. One, two, three, four, five, or more. And now it's so much easier to blend. We can drag some of this color underneath. Underneath a gate would have a pretty dark shadow. So we can drag some of this color over. And let's just put a little blue, um, let's put, just put a little puddle here. Like it's spring and maybe we've got some water. And a little, a little pool is just 
a little patch of blue. And so we're just gonna pick up a little of this color and we're just gonna brush this in until the color runs out. You're just gonna keep your hands straight until the color runs out. And as soon as that's dry, doesn't take very long, we're gonna take the tiny glass now. And we're just gonna bring this all around. Put a little grass back in here. Add some water and just pull this color up. Remember when you're doing grass, grass is the only time you have a brush stroke. You're actually brushing that color up and out. We can drag a little of this green over, kind of cut it into the water a little bit. Let's put a darker shadow underneath. And let's add a little color to the hardware on the gate. So this is a sepia. And I'm just going to pull a little of this color off onto the gate. There we go. We can drag a little of this, more of this color down in here. This is all in the shadow. Don't forget to sign. Always, always sign your work. It's going to be new every time. It's never going to be the same. And there you have it. The little wooden gate. Thanks so much for watching.